right now, a familiar face here to WAT, our former sports director, Jim Wogan. Here to kind of talk about the changes with the Lady Vols program. Yeah. Jim, as always, great to see you, and thanks for coming by. Good to be here. Wish the circumstances were a little different. Sure, yeah. uh, no doubt about it. Let me ask you this, and for, before I ask you this question sure. about your thoughts on what happened today, I'm going to read a quote okay. from you. All right. All right. I have always been, will always be, a Holly Warlick fan. You tweeted that earlier today. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, my recollection and working relationship with Holly Warlick goes back to 1990 when I came to Knoxville right. and instantly there was this connection. Uh, there was something about Holly's personality, the way she dealt with players, the way she dealt with the media and her connection to Pat Summit that made her very, very easy to work with and very, very easy to like. Uh, she's just a class act, a very good person and I know there's been a lot of talk and discussion over what happened today, sure. and, and you can count me among the many, if not everyone, who's, who's disappointed in what happened today. And, and, and a lot of people are going to focus on this past season, yep. but, but you have to turn back the clock really to 76 when she was a player. She became in 76 sure. to 80, then was a coach. She has been a part of this program for a long time, and I think that's something that a lot of people kind of need to think about a little bit, yeah. the changes. You know, a player, a coach, part of Pat Summit staff, replacing Coach Summit. I mean, she's been part of this UT program, this Lady Vols program for decades. You know, one of the things that I think struck me about Holly and her career here, I, I didn't know her as much as a head coach. I right. had left about right. the time that she came out as a head coach. Um, always hoped that things would go well for her. Watched the team this season, saw the way things were going. And even though I, I continue to have that hope into the postseason mm -hmm. in the SEC tournament, held out a little bit of hope after they beat LSU. When they lost to Mississippi State, I, I, I kind of saw the writing was on the wall. But, but one of the things that I think strikes me about Holly and her legacy here is her career as an assistant coach with Pat Summit. Right. And people need to remember that when Pat was, was Pat and Pat mm -hmm. was doing what she was doing and had all that success and elevated this program to the top nationally, she had a very consistent assistant coaching staff. Mm -hmm. And Holly was a member of that coaching staff for many, many years. That's something Holly hasn't had. When Pat Summit took a timeout, the first half of that timeout, she would meet with Holly, right. with Dean, and with either Nikki or Mickey at the time. Right. And she would talk to them for 30 seconds before she even turned to her players. She had a lot of trust in Holly and the assistant coaches. I'm not sure Holly had quite the consistency that Pat had when Pat was the head coach here. Sure, and that may be one of the factors to look at. Also, I mean, you know, you, you were a sports director for a long time. Uh, I used to be a sports director as well. We've seen it a number of times. Yep. You've got a, a legend, someone who's really established yep. themselves is, is a great. And then the person that replaces them, yep. that's always a tough job. I don't care. I mean, she had 172 wins. It's right. not bad. Uh, but still, uh, y you expect more. One more than 70% of her yeah. games, but the program is where it is. Right. And the program was where it was, and it certainly isn't where it used to be. Something had to happen, unfortunately. My heart goes out to Holly, I, I, much as the rest of Vol Nation, I think, uh, their hearts do. But, but something had to happen. Keep this in mind. Ted Williams, I'm a big Red Sox I fan. Know. Ted Williams was perhaps the greatest, not perhaps, was the, the greatest hitter in baseball history. True. Could not become a successful manager, even that's though true. he tried. That's so. True. Keep that in mind when you judge somebody that's coming out of one role that she's had for yeah. so long and stepped into this other role. But, but Holly and her legacy will be one viewed in history as, as an integral and positive part of Tennessee women's basketball. We'll end it there. Jim, appreciate you coming in. Good to see you. Yep. Good to All see right. you both. Kristen, over to you.